Sup guys, Brickroad's back with some more Super Speed Mega Man 3. Now that I've killed all the Robot Masters, four of their levels have been converted into Dock Robot stages. The stages keep the same rough layout they had before, but with some slight alterations. For example, the walls of this shaft weren't lined with spikes last time I was here. Dock Robot himself is kind of a zombie body, which can take on the weapons and attack patterns of dead Robot Masters. I'll fight him twice in each of the next four levels, and each time he'll be mimicking a different boss from Mega Man 2. The Shadow Man remix is probably the hardest of the four Doc Robot levels, and I'd actually put it in the running for overall hardest level in the game, thanks in no small part to these platforms that drop you as soon as you land on them. I said in the Shadow Man video that they eventually put the screen blackout gimmick to good use, and I meant it. I'm surprised someone at Capcom was able to show enough restraint to still let you see the platforms at all after the lights went out. Okay, so I should have RJ'd past that section instead of trying to show off. My bad, but now hopefully you see more clearly what I meant when I said that RJ is a great get out of the level free card. Nobody in their right mind would try to jump those sections when they have a rocket sled in their backpack. Well, on the plus side, we get to see the whole first part of the level again. And yes, I'm way too stubborn to let these godforsaken platforms get me down. I'm determined to get through this the manly way, or at least as manly as a small boy with blue underwear can manage. Here goes. Watch closely. Success! Thank you, thank you. Please hold your applause to the end of the show. Anyway, here we are at the midpoint of the level, where we fight our first Doc Robot, Zombie Woodman. As can be expected, all of the Mega Man 2 bosses have been juiced up for their encore presentations. Woodman, perhaps, most of all. The amount of damage he does is flat-out frightening, and if there's a reliable way to dodge his deadly attack leaves, I sure don't know it. The best you can hope for is to fill him up with needles before he kills you, as I just demonstrated. The Doc Robot bosses are really where you want to have collected a lot of free lives and energy tanks beforehand. I try not to use energy tanks if I can help it, but even I don't like cutting it as close as I just did. And what better way to celebrate a Woodman kill than with a gauntlet of Hammer Joes? Sheesh. The last part of the level is the same lake of lava that finished off Shadow Man's original stage, only lined with spikes along the ceiling to make it harder to maneuver Rush Jet. Magnet missiles make the jumps quite a bit safer, though, although you can see how sometimes they don't home onto their target the way they're supposed to. I'm running pretty low on health at this point, so I've got a choice to make before the next boss. Use an energy tank to fill up my life, or let him kill me and get essentially the same effect. I've got lots of lives, but only a few E-tanks, so it's not worth refilling my health in this case. You can't revisit stages in Mega Man 3 the way you can later in the series, so there's no way to go back and stockpile them either. Since I didn't use the A6 Redcoat starting out, they're a pretty rare commodity. Fortunately, Zombie Heat Man is more than willing to assist in my suicide, allowing me to go in for a rematch in top condition. Heat Man's attack pattern hasn't changed from Mega Man 2. His weak point weapon, however, is shorter range than it used to be. You can't hit him from across the screen anymore. You've got to close the distance, which makes the fight more dangerous. What I'm noticing about Heat Man, though, is that, honestly, this is the first part of the game where I'm really feeling the decreased reaction time I have from playing the game sped up. He's not supposed to be this difficult to dodge. And no, Doc Robot doesn't cough up any weapons. Well, that's two down, six to go. See you guys next time on Mega Man 3, Doc Robot Edition.